Hi everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we created this smoky eye right here. I use only the Tati Beauty palette and this is such a good palette. I was actually so happy with how the results came out and how easy that palette is to use. So I'm going to show you guys how I did this look. I am going to do my face makeup on here. So I will leave timestamps below if you want to just skip to the eye look or you just want to skip to me doing my face makeup. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Okay, so as you can see, I am not wearing any makeup underneath just because since I am working with black shadow, I know that there might be a little bit of fallout. So I'll do my makeup at the end. My eyes are primed and my eyebrows are on. I cut a little bit too much of my eyebrow off today, so kind of made my own little eyebrow at the end there. So the best way to pretty much start with a smoky eye is to just build it up. So I'm going to pick up Soothe with a blending brush and add that into the crease. Picking up Matte Soothe and we're adding that into the crease. So I'm adding that into my crease, but I'm also adding it just a bit above just because I do have hooded eyelids, so I like to go pretty high up. Okay, so this is what step one should look like. It should look diffused like this, and you have a little bit of a light brown into the crease. I am gonna go in with a darker brown, but this is what it should look like. This is like really important in creating a smoky eye, in my opinion, because smoky eyes look really, really good when they look very layered. I'm going to use that same exact brush, and I'm picking up a Ritual, which is a darker brown, but instead of applying that into my crease and upper crease, I'm only going to focus on my crease. All right, so once you have this on your brush, make sure you are tapping it off just a bit. So I'm gonna go in and I'm going to apply to the crease right here. And rather than going above like I did with the shade Soothe, this like lighter brown, I'm going to go focus just in the bottom, like just into the crease right here and going back and forth. So if it's easier for you and you wanna use a smaller brush, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to pick up a clean, okay, semi-clean brush and just kind of uh, diffuse the edges. So we have above the crease Soothe, which is the lighter brown in the palette. And then we have a Ritual into the crease. So we have a bit of a gradient going on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and actually add the black. But before I do that, I do recommend you put a creamy base down. So I'm going to pick up my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. And this is just a very creamy, creamy, creamer eyeliner. This one's pretty big, but if you wanna just use eyeliner, that's fine. You just wanna use some type of creamy base just to really have the black stick onto the eyes even better. I feel like whenever I do this, my smoky eye just lasts longer throughout the night. Don't worry too much about how it looks because we are going to blend this out. Picking up my blending brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. I'm going to pat, pat, pat it down and then blend it out. So as you see, I'm going in patting motions and then I will blend it out and flip the other side to blend out the edges right here. And don't worry about this, like, don't worry about the edges right here because I am going to go with a different brush and add a little bit of ritual back into the crease. All right, so this is what the creamy black paste should look like. I'm going to pick up my blending brush one more time and add a little bit more of Ritual back into the crease because I feel like I lost that a little bit. Picking up that same brush and I'm going to go ahead and sort of diffuse the edges. Now I'm kind of like stretching out my eyelid when I do this so that it's easier to apply. Okay, so I'm adding a little bit of matte Ritual into like the edges right here just to smooth that out and to kind of darken it a bit. All right, so once your eyes kind of look like this, we can go ahead and dip into the palette. And I think I'm going to go actually in with the metallic black shade, just because I feel like that would go really, really well with my creamy base. All right, so I'm actually gonna go in with my finger. I went in with a brush before, but it wasn't giving me the effect I wanted. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my fingers. Thank you. 
and we are just applying that to the lid. All right, so this is what it should look like. I'm very, very happy with the outlook. I'm just grabbing my brush really quick to make sure that this is going on really nicely and really precise. So I'm going to pat, pat, pat that down. My brush is wet. And just make sure this is looking good right here. And I'm making sure the metallic shade isn't going any more above, just stopping right there. Okay, so I'm picking up this tapered blending brush and it's clean, but I am gonna add a little bit of aura onto right here. And I don't know, I just feel like kind of adding a little bit of a light shade up there. This is a really, really big brush. All right, let's pick up aura right there. Make sure you are tapping this off. Oh, look at that fallout. Just adding aura into my brow bone right here. Super, super light. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of Aura, tap that off, and go in right here, just to sort of soft at the edges right here, just because I felt like it's looking a bit harsh. Okay, so we're picking up Aura, which is the metallic one. I'm taking like a small little brush to do this. Now this is a totally optional, but I want to add that into my brow bone, just to add a little bit of shimmer. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of Aura and add that into the inner corner. We're going to skip out on top liner because this look is already as extra as it can be. We are going to add a little bit of black liner into the waterline though. These are the same ones I've been using for like the past three looks. I just go ahead and reuse my lashes. I always clean like the glue off. Usually I wait like a couple seconds until the glue gets a little bit tacky. And then I'm going to use my tweezers to sort of squeeze my lashes with the false lashes together. We're going to go in with the black metallic and just apply that into my lower lash line really, really quick. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup on camera. I am going to focus a lot on using cream products since it is winter. So I'm going to start off with primer. And I'm picking up this Photo Finish Radiance Primer. up my YSL All Hours Foundation. This is in the shade B40 Sand and pick up this really big brush from Sigma. This is a Max Kabuki brush. It has a little bit of foundation on it. This is a 3D HD brush. I'm picking up this Jouer Concealer. This one's actually too light for me, but this is in the shade Wheat. And I like this because with this concealer, I saw Nikki Tutorials using it, but this concealer is really cool because you don't have to set it. It literally sets on its own, which is really, really nice because I'm trying to sort of skip out on powder. I also bring my concealer uh, pretty down because if you guys know, I have like, like a little bit of an eye wrinkle underneath here and I don't really want the concealer to stick in there. A little bit down here, and to be honest, this is actually way too much because this is a really really creamy full coverage concealer so i think i already added too much but oh well okay so i'm picking up this pure cream contour stick and i'm going to pretty much warm up the face just because like i said that concealer is way too light for me i just love the finish though Okay, so I'm picking up a dual fiber brush to blend this out because I feel like this is the best type of brush when it comes to contour. I'm going to pat it down and then blend it out, up, kind of going upwards. Okay, so that cream contour actually made a huge difference. I actually like the way it looks a lot. I'm going to skip out and using any powder bronzer. Like I said, I'm trying to focus on just using liquid products. So we're going to jump into using a liquid blush. And this is from the company Clove and Hallow. And this is in the shade Blossom. And I'm just going to apply that onto my... I'm going to apply just a little bit because I can definitely go overboard with this product. I'm picking up a dual fiber brush to blend that out. These type of brushes are really, really good for anything that is cream. And I'm just going to pat, pat, pat that down and blend that out. 
I'm going to finish off my face makeup with highlight and I'm actually going to pick up this liquid frost from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is an ice cream bling. It has a hint of blue in it. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up this highlighting brush and just blend that out. So for the lips, I'm going to use Cloven Hallow and this is a lipstick and this is in the shade Desert Rose. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually add a little bit of gloss onto my lips. This is from the brand Cloven Hollow, and this is in the shade Angelic, and this is a really light um, lip gloss. All right, you guys, so that is the final look. I'm very happy with how the look came out. I usually try to go pretty light on the face and on the lips whenever I do a smoky eye, just because I want most of the attention to go to the eyes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.